once you have power, our whole neurophysiological makeup changes. The empathy networks in your brain and the prefrontal cortex are less active when you're listening to other people. You're less interested in what people have to say. Empathy drops, compassion drops, uh, basic civility drops. Once we have power, our sense that we really are interdependent drops. What we think is going on, for individuals who have less power, they're sort of more reliant on other people to meet their needs. I see the mind and the body as inextricably linked. There's a hormonal profile associated with attaining higher status. High testosterone and low cortisol. It really predicted you coming across as more leader-like. tendency to think about others could come at a physiological cost that can kind of kickstart stress responses um, in the body. That can cause wear and tear on our organs, which could potentially put people at risk for illness and disease. Those that feel powerful have a more adaptive way of addressing or dealing with stress. To get to all the parts of your body that it needs to get to. If you just remind people of a situation where they had power, that can make them feel more powerful. And that can then have a positive cascade on some of the physiological responses. Enabling all people to have voice at the table, listening, empathizing, practicing humility, welcoming social criticism that allows for the free flow of ideas. If we do that, I think we'll avoid this very powerful law of human behavior, which is that power can corrupt. Thank you.